Hey there planners, today I want to introduce you to the main star of my planning system that I will be using from September through the end of the year. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. All right, before I dive into sharing and introducing the main star of my planning system, I do want to say welcome to those of you who are new to Planning Annie. We are super excited you're here. At Planning Annie, we're a community of planner enthusiasts. We love our planning systems. We love being productive. We love getting things done. We also love planning supplies and all the creative aspects of journaling and planning. So if that sounds like something you enjoy, we hope that you will consider subscribing and becoming a permanent part of our community. For those of you returning, welcome back. I'm super excited to have you here and I'm very excited to share with you what I am going to be planning in for the rest of the year. So first of all, what is this gorgeous cover? This is Aura Estelle. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. This is a notebook cover with a cloud design in this gorgeous red. And to me, this just screams fall and Christmas and Thanksgiving and all of the things. So I'm super excited to be using this beauty for the rest of the year. And without further ado, I would like to welcome this beautiful, very shiny and reflective cover right now. <laughs> so this is an A5 Stology. I've got it in a, a clear cover and I've done some altering to the cover. This is um, a vinyl, Cricut vinyl that says mischief managed. Um, if you are familiar with uh, Harry Potter, then you will understand uh, what this is and also this reference as well. So I'm a big fan of Harry Potter uh, and love the movies and uh, books in the fall. So um, definitely included some of that. But I'm in an A5 Stology and I came back to this. I did some flips of A5 Stologies recently and came back to this just because of my love of the paper and the freedom to plan um, you know, just turn the next page and do what you want to do and need to do list making all of that stuff. And for the end of the year, um, this really makes sense for me. I think about like holiday shopping list and Thanksgiving meal planning and all of that. I really think I'm going to need the space, um, that an A5 provides and the freedom that a Stology gridded notebook provides. I'm a huge fan of Stology. You can see that uh, on my channel over the years. What I want to do today is just share with you my initial setup. So my kind of my introductory pages and what I have included in here. As you can see, I haven't done anything with the pockets yet. Um, I've still got a lot of work to do um, to kind of, you know, get get it ready to use, but I've still got some time left, but I have done some initial setup and I wanted to share that with you today. So um, I start with a um, couple, I'll try to list, talk about all the freebies that I'm using and where they're from. I will also list some things down um, in the description box below, a couple of videos I have about where I get most of my freebies. Um, I won't probably remember everything <laughs> because I have collected so many things, either freebies or purchased over the years, um, but I'll try to talk about them as I flip through. So this is actually comes from Planning with B. Um, this is the 2023 holiday list and I have just uh, highlighted off the ones that have already passed and I'll continue to do that. Um, this is a vellum that or uh, acetate that I made. Um, I use printable acetate um, that I can use with my um, inkjet printer, uh, which is very handy. It just takes a minute to dry. It dries really fast, but um, I love, I printed this quote on here. Love this quote. Uh, all at once, summer collapsed into fall. And then I have a year at a glance, um, and I've just used transparent uh, stickies to put over the months that have already passed. And I do plan to use this month, uh, this planner in September, October, November, and December. Um, so that's what that page is. And then I've, this is another uh, planning with B freebie that she's already put out and published. If you're interested in grabbing this up, this is uh, the 2024 holidays. And of course, she's always using, you know, beautiful florals. So I wanted to have this, even though I do not plan, I don't think this will last me into the new year. I did want to have them as a reference for planning purposes. And then also I went ahead and put the uh, 2024 year at a glance in here. And these year at a glances are items that I purchased. And I want to say 
that these are from Hourglass printables. I believe that's where they're from. Um, this is a vellum that I printed um, myself. Uh, just grabbed some artwork off of Canva and printed it on a vellum sheet and then tipped those in. All right, and then I have, <laughs> I absolutely love this. I didn't choose the Mug Life, the Mug Life chose me. This is from an old digital dash box in Planner Press, and I have a goals overview. So this is for Q4. I wanna be able to list out a goal and the action steps just for Q4 in here. And so that's how I'll be using this page. Um, more coffee stuff, and then before the year ends, I love this list. I cannot remember where I got this freebie from, um, but it would be fairly easy to make this yourself if you just wanted to write out before the year ends and have kind of a list of things you want to do uh, before the year ends. I think this is a great thing to have, and I'm already thinking about things I want to add to it, uh, to the list. So here I have an attendance tracker. So um, I need to, I've started filling in some of the dates. I need to come in here and finish filling in the dates. Um, but this is for homeschool purposes. I have this uh, for my daughter in here so I can track that. And this is from a um, digital dash box, an old digital dash box from Planner Press. I do not subscribe to this digital dash box anymore, so I can't speak to uh, the type of items that are offered currently, but this was from a past box. All right, and then I have just some florals and this, this is a fall color palette. I really liked this reference and I've got it over um, a list of subscriptions. I started writing them in, but I do like to keep track of subscriptions, particularly at the, as we head into the end of the year so that I can decide, is there anything I want to eliminate or get rid of? Add to planner list. I put this in every planner. I think it's nice to have, particularly as I'm planning for the year ahead. Um, and then have some pumpkins here and then go to dinners. So I did go ahead and fill this out. This is um, sort of fall and early winter related go to dinners like uh, baked potato soup and, you know, crock pot taco soup, all of that um, stuff like go to dinners just when I need a quick reference. And I also went ahead and put in here um, some sticky notes and a place to write recipes to try. So as I come across those, keeping up with those. I used some stamps. So I bought some stamps and I have figured out, I originally was using um, somewhere in here, I thought I had used it earlier. Um, I was using actual stamp pads, but quickly figured out that um, I like to use my Tombow markers to color on the stamps and then stamp that way. It's much cleaner and neater, and I like the ability to have so many different colors. So um, that's been really fun to play around with the stamps. Um, this is where I used a st actual stamp pad, and it was kind of a mess, but <laughs> I made a wish list area for my husband, my daughters, myself, and any others because we are heading into the holiday season, and I want to make sure I'm tracking that and keeping up with that. Um, I have my reoccurring task list. Um, so, you know, I like to have this in every planner. It's great reference. This is yearly task, quarterly task, daily task, monthly task, weekly task, and I've got room to add more. Um, but I really like to have this as a reference. If you would like more information about what is this and um, how do I how do I create this? Why do I use this? Um, I will have a video listed down in the description box below. And then I have my trigger list. So things when I'm doing a brain dump and I need to remember things, um, I've got this list here. I did it in a little bit different format than I've done in the past. So kept it very short. Um, things like thankful for, projects in progress, um, ask the questions, write it down, um, you know, nine to five, all of that stuff. So I use little phrases to help trigger my mind about remembering things. Um, that I need to to get done. So, and then that's it. Those are my setup pages. So my next pages will be September, and I will do a separate video on how I'm setting up September uh, in this planner. So I really hope that you enjoyed seeing kind of how I'm going to be setting up and using this Stology. I'm excited to be back in Astrology and to be back in an A5 because it's been a long time. Um, and I'm hoping that this remains portable enough. Uh, luckily, the Aura Estelle allows for some belt loosening <laughs> um, in this planner. So 
Um, I'm, I'm excited to be back in this planner and hope that you are excited as well to see uh, what becomes of it. Stay tuned for the September monthly setup. Leave all your questions and comments down below. Uh, let me know if you are using Astology or a notebook or a bullet journal style planner right now. I'd love to hear that. Leave your questions down below too. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me. Thank you.